today. So we are at the north end of Remoyle in Dunblane and we're going to take a little walk down Remoyle and have a look at the buildings, a couple of the roads off and uh, should finish down by the cathedral at Brayport. So this is Ankerfield House, quite a big house. Let's have a look at uh, some of the history of that. Nice big wall around there as well. Huge house. Not sure what that was years and years ago. Chisholm Avenue. Nice cul de sac. Nice and quiet. Just coming up to uh, the North End Garage. And the coach house. Another big, a big property in the coach house. Very big. And Ankerfield Cottage. So Ankerfield Cottage, the coach house, and Ankerfield House is all pretty similar. Got Trinity House. A pal of mine used to live there. Dumblain Nursery. And kindergarten. Oh, Dumblain Nature Kindergarten at the back of the building. And that's North End Garage. For those of you who don't know where that is, that's at North End Garage. And the road leads down there to the bog side, takes you to back on the Perth Road and then up into the wooded area. A wee passage there takes you into. Um, a path that leads you into the Lay Hills. So this is now the Remoyle Cottages. And Lady H was telling me that they've all just been painted and done up, so we'll have a look at that. Nice little private cottages, not sure who lived here in the in the older days. Lots of rhubarb in the gardens. Rhubarb season coming up, I think. And we've got the old post office coming up shortly. Uh, we'll just have a walk down there. The Lady H is telling me there's a church at the back of the old post office. And you can't see it off the road, but we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can find it. So just coming up to... Uh, the old post office. It used to be here, I think. Yes, this was the old post office. This was uh, Ramal post office many years and years ago. But we're just going to go down here now, which is uh, Lay Hills Lawn, 1888. Wow. So there's a church down here. That's Jane's house, I don't know if she's in. So I wonder where the church is hidden. So it's Orthodox Community of St Nicholas and St Blaine. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe pause it to read that. Orthodox Community of St Nicholas of Myra and St Blaine of Dunblane. Wow. St Nicholas of Myra. Pause that and read it if you can. So I'm not sure if uh, that we've got. I've got an entrance here. I wonder where the church is. So we've got on the gate. I'm not sure if that's the church. Hmm. Could be the church. I think that house is the church. I think this is the church. Mm. Yes. 
how nice, how quaint. Look at the buck of a mile here. Still see the old post box in the wall there. Which is now a private house. Number one post office buildings. So they must, all these buildings must have been part of the post office many years ago. I think I've got some old photographs which I'll post on the video. Pink house and a pink cottage, and we've got some goats in the back there overlooking uh, the wooded area. at the back of all these old cottages here is Home Hill and there's a couple of videos on my channel in Home Hill especially with the Home Hill house and Grace Donaldson who lived there many many years ago before it was taken over or bought by Rio Stakis lovely lovely cottages a little hidden gem of Dunblane down this end just coming to the top of the hill now. So the plaque is actually the same. Ramoyle possibly gets its name from Rathmoyle, meaning the fort on the bare hill. This narrow street was the main road into the town from the north. Many of the existing houses date from the 17th and 18th centuries and were originally occupied by hand-loom weavers. Ah, that, that rings a bell with uh, the drying green down by the river. So we used to be weavers' cottages. New buildings there, so, some sort of flats. So that's sort of the Ramoyle, and we're just coming into Brayport. Quite interesting Ramoyle, a lot of history in Ramoyle. And we're just on our way into uh, the north end of Dumbling by the cathedral from Brayport and around that area and Tanner Hill Terrace some nice houses down there, got some friends down there we've got Lady Whiplash and Neil so this is Brayport and we've got the, uh, there's a cottage down here used to be called, I think it was a flower girl of Dunblane I can't remember, I'll have a look and if uh, I'll post some pictures online and some interesting facts um, and that's the cottage in between that one there and this one there is an inscription over the uh, over the top of the cottage we'll just see if we can see this so this is a, a cottage erected 1908 on the site of the cottage where Jesse the flower of Dunblane was born, lived and died. So we'll find out about Jesse the flower of Dunblane and we'll put some uh, information on there with it and also some photographs. There with it and also some photographs. Dargal Terrace or Dargai Terrace, which is a dead end. And we're just coming up now to the start of Brayport. We found another plaque on the wall telling us the history of Brayport, and we'll just uh, go to that. 
Greyport or the gate on the hill was the town's northern gateway where traders paid their tolls on market days. Adjoining was a barn where tenants deposited their annual teeths to the bishop. The modern house called Bishop Barn is close to the site of the original barn. There we go. Then Home Hill Lodge. So this takes you into Home Hill. And we have done a video on there. If you have a look on my channel, Lord Rob H, you will find it. And uh, there's some interesting facts about uh, Home Hill House that used to be up there. So just coming down Brayport now. Brayport Centre and back into Dunblane by the uh, cathedral. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future videos. So the Brayport Centre is more like a community hall where you can uh, hire the uh, rooms out. There also, there's also a house at the end there which is for sale. Um, I'm not sure, it looks like an old school building from years and years ago. But uh, I'll we'll find out a little bit more information and put that in the video. Well, hopefully some old, older photographs as well. So that's Dunblane Cathedral. And the Hainings. So I'm just going to walk down the Hainings and uh, go around the back of the Dragon Green. And maybe do uh, a little bit of footage around the back of the Dragon Green. So this is, uh, as I say, that's Brentport. And that takes you all the way up, up to Remoyle. So we will get uh, a video of the old church houses. Um, shortly because around the back is a very very old chapel that they found and uh, actually restored and they do whole weddings there now so we'll get that video up and running in the next few weeks so we're at the heating and I'm not sure if these were church buildings that's quite a big living room that oh yes massive Stained glass windows through there. So we just cut through here, there's a path through. It takes me around the back of the cathedral. So don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell for future videos on this channel. So I'm not being around the side here. This looks like maybe a private entrance down under the under the cathedral, but I'm not sure about that. A nice wee door here will probably take you into side rooms inside the cathedral lots of stained glass little, little holes little sort of priest holes with stained glass wow that's amazing so this is uh, I think this is the north door I'm not sure that gets used. And we've got the west door. And the main door is in the south, which will be at shortly.
so that's uh, the end of today's video or vlog and hopefully we'll get this up online shortly and hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe make some comments if you want to and also hit that notification bell and we'll catch you on the next vlog Lord Rob H same bye for now catch you later